hello welcome back to the channel this is what must be done today and I will try and clear out as much as I can and if you can see it is an overgrown section of the plot and I need to clear this out it is a very big fire hazard I think last year or the year before there was a huge fire here and as you can see we still reco recovering from from that so I need to clear this section as best as I can um, with the limited time that I have uh, so that uh, because we are so prone to fires if another fire were to come um, yeah then then at, at least we would not uh, be hugely affected so this is what I want to do today I started in the week and I would love to cut uh, 12 meters around here and I want to cut going that way so this I will update us as we go on during the day but this is the work that must be done for today so there is rain that has come the rain has come and it has basically stopped everything that I was doing and I was planning to do today uh, I must also say uh, I need a chainsaw um, preferably a steel chainsaw mine is still in for repairs uh, because with the way i was doing this current job it was going to take me quite a while um so yeah i guess i will do some <laughs> menial tasks that involve cleaning the chicken coop while the rain while the rain is falling um basically i can't do anything now that is outside so yeah you can't really see the rain uh, but yeah, it is raining and I'm sure you can hear it. So yeah, now let's see. This is the chicken coop inside. We've got three layer boxes there and I think she's the owner of the eggs that are currently under there. There's two eggs there and I've introduced another egg right in this box. Um, I think it's an old egg I found laying around. Uh, so yeah, I think she is now nesting. Oh, in fact, there's two chickens in there. Well, there's two chickens in there. I'm not sure which one owns the eggs now. And then uh, here's the alpha male. That's the alpha male. Oh, yes. I also need to, to fix right here. I need to put a screw on the other side to hold uh, this. They, they, they sleep here. They stand here. So the weight, I think, has become too much for the screw that I was holding up there. I need to fix uh, here also, um, but I don't think any of them will will sleep, will perch here because whoever is perching here is going to pull on there. So yeah, this is what it looks like inside. This is their this is their feeder right right there. Uh, <coughs> gravity fed put the food in there and we throw maize here and so they used to be um, they used to stay in all of this space right here but then they jumped over they would jump over and go and mess our garden so we put them in here in this chicken coop for now up until we can fence properly in this section so that's the alpha male as i said and i have uh this one which is a male oh, it's a rooster and then I have uh, this hen right here. And then there's two hens that are in the, in the other layer nest up there. So this one is just a layer nest that I had lying around and I didn't want it to get rained on. And so I've put it under the chicken coop. Eh, when? Eh, uh, uh, uh. All right, so the sun has come out a bit. So let me just show you from outside. So this is what it looks like outside. Um, they are sitting right here so if you see them there's the two of them right there there's the two eggs there's the one egg um, and so this if we wanted to collect eggs we just come and open here and take the eggs and this is how big it is or how long it is so there they are inside so we want to fix this section right here make it a bit higher because they jump and then they go and spoil our garden or 
we fence our garden properly so that they can free range because for now they are eating on the food that we give them so i've got two bush filters this one here and that one i don't know what that one is then i've got two layers this is the lawnmower brown and uh, i what the but yeah Well, another job that needs to be done today is to take uh, some soil from here which I'm using as a filling where we've uh, placed our tanks so we've run out of some clay on the other side so you will see for instance if I take you to where it must be uh, I must go this way so take all that that will barrel I have to take it all the way from there um, walk around and there is the tank and so we are using that to fill here so I need the, 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 the clay that we used it was here now we have to use the clay because we have run out of clay from that side I'm going to use this clay to fill here and it's all the clay that came from when we drilled the borehole okay, here everything gets repurposed we have these vibracrete slabs and we are going to create a slab for for this tank and we are going to put it right here this tank is about 1.9 meters um, and so we are going to put it 1.9 meters this way and we'll put it four meters across so that when you have two tanks we are able to have enough space for 10,000 liters of water. This is a 5,000 liter tank. We'll then have to we'll connect it to um, uh, gutters, and then we're hoping to run a pipe from the borehole right over there, and it is going to feed these tanks in the future. It's going to take a very uh, small foundation to slot these things in, and we are going to fill this with this clay right here and with this also right here and there's more clay on the other side that was drilled from the borehole we'll take all of that clay and we'll put it as a filling here for this for this tank there's the soap pack right there i need to put a I need to put it in a place where um, at least under the shelter so that that's untreated wood that I used there so I need to protect it from the elements um, these are the trees that survived the felt fire last year uh, there was a big fire last year and I had avocado trees that had grown in this section this one survived <clears throat> uh, this one actually we planted this year this is a cherry guava as you can see it has survived so it is uh we picked it from the road it survived and so we are going to have some cherry guavas in season hopefully this one didn't survive it died but it's not part of the of the of the initial trees that i planted this was a well it is still a lemon tree uh it hasn't produced anything just yet but it's still here it survived the felt fire and then everything else that was here it didn't survive the next job that I'm going to do after I finish with the tank is to take uh, some of this. To me, it's a weed, um, but to the chickens and the bunnies, they love it very much. So, oh, this, I think this could be my other av. No, is this an avo? Hey, I must clear up. I think it's one of my avo trees that survived here, this one also. So, as I was saying, this to us is, uh, is, a, is a weed. You know, it's everywhere. But we've seen that the bunnies actually, the bunnies and the chicken, they love it. So um, I give it to the bunnies as, as, a, as an alternative to, not as an alternative, as an addition to their, to their feed. And then you will see most places we have these Cape gooseberries growing. And uh, yeah, they're growing everywhere now. I think they're coming from seed that I, that I brought from home. How they ended up there, I don't know, but they are growing uh, wild here. And so, as you can see, this 
I will put the name of this thing. I know what it is. I just forgot the name. I'll put it in the comment. Well, in the well, right, right, right here. Here's the name. It's going to be well. There's there's the name there. Okay. So anyway, I must pick some of it and then feed the chickens and then also feed the bunnies. Okay. So that is the job I'm going to do after I finish right here. And bearing in mind, my one wrist doesn't work very well. Okay, so as I said, this is a job that we are doing today. As I said, there's the tank, 5,000 liters. And so what happened here, I had these slabs, these Vibacrete slabs from a friend of mine, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. And um, so they were, we were going to use them for something else, but they're not fit for purpose for that particular application so we had we needed a we needed to make a slab here and yeah we decided oh look instead of spending money on cement and everything else let's come and use these vibacrit uh, um, slabs so we've placed these all around here uh, to give us um, a, a base well a, a frame yes a frame on which to basically to fill and then <laughs> We've uh, I've basically stopped it with uh, these sticks right here, and we hope that when when there's like ten thousand liters here, they are going to hold. Um, we can just only pray and hope. So yeah, this is. I need two more wheelbarrows to fill in here, and then we are going to level it, uh, stomp it, and then hope. Hey, hey! Oh, look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I uh, step into a hole okay so we then going to stomp it and make hopefully when the rains come it's not going to eventually erode okay two cats or two kittens uh, they are going to be looking for names very soon so if you've got any names let me know <laughs> All right, this is maybe 45 minutes later. Uh, my energy levels are exhausted now, so I don't have time to be making sure that it's, it's level. But I will just put one more wheelbarrow right here and level that section. If it's straight, well, it won't be straight right now. I know it's not straight. I know it's not perfectly level, but it will do the job. So one more wheelbarrow and uh, if you can see right there, there's a slight dip right here. So I'll fill this section, fill, fill there, fill a bit of this section, and leave it, and go to the next, uh, to the next, uh, to the next job today. So if I were to show you, this is spider. Uh, spider doesn't like rabbits. Uh, spider kills rabbits, and not just wild rabbits even my rabbits so i have to keep my rabbits locked up uh, because she was from small she's been trained to well catch wild rabbits yes it's bunnies Oh, spy, you end up in the wrong. And low one hour, I say, guy. Yeah, And I was I'm shield. rabbits and so she hates anything rabbity um, with chickens she doesn't kill them she just makes sure that the chickens stay in their chicken coop and if they go out so chase them back into the chicken coop say hello spider 
Hey, hello. So anyway, uh, how the name Spider ended up being her name. Uh, the guy that, that lives here, he got her as a puppy. And uh, I'm not sure whether you know of the belief. I know when we were young, if you wanted your dog to be vicious, we had a, uh, this idea that you give your dog a spider and therefore it would be vicious. Yes, she does. Uh, she is a, a, a good guard dog. Uh, whoever doesn't belong here, she knows and she will attack them. Um, so yes, that's how she ended up with the name of Spider. We have now two kittens that have joined the fray. Uh, we are going to try and get her to understand that there's kittens here now. You don't bite the kittens because they're going to scratch you. So yes, this is our, our channel dog. We have two channel kittens and uh, we're looking for names for them. I'm going to flash two pictures of the kittens and if you have names for them, you can suggest and the best name will win. Of course, names such as Kitty and Tiger and all those cliche names might not do the trick. So yes, this is our farm dog and we also now have two farm kittens. And we need kittens because we have resident snakes uh, because we in a, a bush uh, this place is actually called it's Crockett's Hope but uh, we're neighboring what is called green bushes so we're in a bush and as you can see it's a thick 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 bush um, and there's puff adders here I know this is puff adder land we've had a few uh, last year and uh, it is winter now so they're hibernating we haven't seen any this year so this is puff adder land so uh, we're hoping that the kitten will be kittens will be able to deter some of the snakes that would have ideally come closer uh, to our chicken coop uh, to come and attack our chickens. Uh, the last time we had chickens that used to lay right here uh, before we cleared this section, you, and our chickens were laying right, left, right, and center. They were laying here, and uh, here we want to build a. Um, a structure for broilers we have a slab and uh, yeah we now want to get uh, the corrugated iron that we are ideally going to use to put that structure over there so that is that that is what that is there for uh, there we kept our cow and then they tried to steal my cow so we closed it for now and the cow is next door uh, where it is a bit safer and of course then we have the chickens so yes, let me just finish this job and then go and do the next job that stands that that is awaiting me for today. All right, so that is one job done for the day. Well, this one job is done for today. Um, it's over to the next job now. There's two things that I need to do. One, I'm going to show you just now. Uh, I've got a raised bed that I want to sort out, and then the other one is to fix my road. So let's go to those two jobs now. Alright, it's back to, before I forget, it's back to clearing here where I think, I think this is my Avo tree, one of them that survived. So I want to clear this section right here with my small piccinini uh, hole. And all of this that I'm removing, I'm going to feed it to Actually, I'm hoping that I could process this and keep keep it, you know, and keep it dry. But I haven't had time to look for ways that I can do that. So for now, I'm just going to give it to them like this, and that's the way that they've been eating it. So I want to just clear this section here, then at least I know that. Uh, it is not this tree is not killed by by this this weed here and then also what I'm going to do I'm going to put a I'm going to ring fence it from the goats that sometimes wander around here so that also they don't eat it because they started they started eating my other I have a mango tree that's growing and they found it 
so they started eating that mango tree okay that should be enough for now that should do for now yes i think i do think this is two apple trees uh, i'm scared to separate them even those two are there it's actually two apple trees right there growing in the same space and i'm scared to separate them just now i killed them Okay, first stop is the bunny hutch. Okay, you can see there. Okay, I need to bring them water also. Uh, so we feed them pellets and then I give them I give them this also. And then they part of the hole right there. They come out there. So there's one bunny that is still a wall. We know where it is. And spider is just waiting for it to come out. <laughs> yeah. Get in. So we give them also this to supplement their diet. They eat it, they like it. And so we do that. And just for the wind, I close here for now. And then uh, let me just take just a tiny bit for the chickens so while I have my hand free. Okay, the rain has come back now, so I have to pause the job that I wanted to do. And uh, we'll see. There we go. And they actually eat it. And I'll still get the name. Huh? Yeah, it's all bad. It's all bad. Okay, the rain has, oh, the rain has come, and so I think it's going to be tea time. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make some tea, and I'm going to sit inside and go and have something to eat. Uh, this is my hut. This is my hut. Okay, I've got this aluminium plate to make sure that it doesn't burn. I'm trying it for it not to go burnt. Um, so yes, this is how I'm boiling water, and you can see that my water is reached boiling point. So I shall make me some tea. Yeah. So this is the spinach seedlings that we are growing. Uh, that is kale. All of this is kale and this is kale all, then spinach here and then that's kale over there and uh, this section I'm going to have my raised bed I've started laying some poles here I want to go and put some, some uh, I'm gonna go and get some compost and I'm going to compost this entire section and I'm going to grow my own other vegetables because you can see this is just for the market but it's not looking very great at the moment so i want to put some veggies that we are going to use to eat at home um, so this is where i'm going to be planting them These bunnies are finishing our vegetables. Alright, for this project today, I wasn't even able to start right there because uh, the chainsaw uh, went loose and uh, the blades were not very sharp. So this is what I was able to do today on this section. Uh, if you remember what it looked like, this is, well, the little that I could do I've been, I've managed at least to make it a bit narrower. I must come and uh, get all of these branches out of the way. And uh, uh, so that it is much clearer. And so I'll just, just, just managed to do this today for this section. And uh, obviously also this needs to be clearing now. So 
so there's quite a lot of branches that are laying on the side and I want to clear all of this it will not be today it will not be tomorrow um, my tired is very tired currently so I'm not going to be doing it today neither will I do it tomorrow but I like this spot right here I've got a plan for it and uh, so I need to clear this entire section for my plan for my plan to be able to materialize so yes yeah that's what I was able to do today as a feedback this morning goodbye such a beautiful rainbow <laughs>